All right, first and foremost, I let the Lord praise His and glory. To the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Kadash. The Lord and the Apostles and the Elders that do rule well at Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to you, Akiyam, all your pushing His gospel and sincerity and truth. Say shalom to the humble and sincere sister and others as well. Lesson for today is Occupy till I come. All right, and it's a straightforward title. Yahweh shall in return yet salvation. In return yet, you know them chariots now in the sky beaming not be like. So you are to occupy until the Lord's return. You understand? Now is not the time to be sluggard and lazy. Right? And, and look warm. You understand? Um, now is the time to, you know, to do the works. Now is the time to, to build any faith. You understand because the times are we be coming in the, the the oil you understand this oil wouldn't be in the streets is we're not youtube no more you understand the, because eh, the the war the real war has started yet and you know? jacob's trouble ain't started yet you understand and hey sometimes you'll be feeling like in a serious hot furnace and that is that heat it nothing compared to Jacob's trouble. And that trouble is beginning with the elect. You understand? All the destruction to come upon the earth. It beginning in Israel. You know? It beginning with the elect and the two thirds. You understand? And the rest of the world. Hey, so what I'm telling you? You are to get it right now. You understand? You are to get it right right now. So when you get in, when you reach in the war, you your soul will already be sharpened. You understand? Your training will be complete. You understand? And you wouldn't get overthrown. You wouldn't get defeated in battle. Right? But the Lord said to occupy until you come in the parable. You can't be bringing out a video every four months or bringing out a video every two months. You understand? You do the works about four times for the year and things like that, you know? And it's not just about videos and preaching either. The, the works goes deeper than that too. Right? Works brought about by faith. You understand? The scripture says, Seek out thy salvation in fear and trembling. Right? So keeping the law, statutes, and commandments in faith is, 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 is works. Praying and fasting is works. Right, you're going through some sort of adversity and you holding strong to your boss and your shy is, is works. Right? Anytime that your faith had to be tried is works. Cause we can't be saved through works because we all the wages of sin is death and we all fall short of the glory. But we are saved in faith. Faith in Yahweh Shai. Right? But however our faith without works is dead. So we had we had to bring forth works. You understand? And if you continue to say, I believe, I believe, I believe, and have nothing to show it, then do you even really believe? Or do you only believe when things are going right? The book of Luke chapter 19 verse 13. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. You understand? Jump to verse 16 and say, Then came the first saying, Lord, thy pound had gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, Well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, have thou authority over ten cities. And the second came saying, Lord, thy pound have gained five pounds. And he said likewise, saying, Be thou also over five cities. And another came saying, Lord, Behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. For I fear thee, because thou art an austere man. For thou takest up that thou layest not down, and repest that thou didst not so. And he said unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knowest that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid not down, and repent that I did not so. Wherefore then givest not thou my money into the bank? That at my coming I might have required mine own with usury. 
And he said unto them that stood by, Take from him the pound, and give it to him that had ten pounds. You understand? So, hey, you men that, you know, call yourselves Israelites, and you ain't taking this gift and strengthening it. Right? You are using this gift to wake up the sheep, to bring, to, to gather the elect. You are using this gift, you know, to, to make yourself as perfect as you could be. And to make your brethren as perfect as they could be, right? You are using this gift in no sort of righteous way. Guess what? The Lord is going to take it from you. And that, and, and that has been seen many times. You understand? And that is to prove that we not save true books. Because there are men. Hey, men who was in this truth before me. You know, who was in the truth way longer than me. You understand? Right now, preaching the virgin birth. You understand? And that you don't want to get circumcised. And, and um, Gentiles, the, the heathens and them could be saved. Right? So what happened to them? They didn't have faith. Yeah, they had they was doing the works, but they didn't have no faith. So the Lord take back that way which He gave them that gift. You understand? And give it unto uh, give it to, to others. You understand? So that 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 to show you, uh, you are to be occupied. You are to be um, busy with active. You understand? You ought to be continuously in a, you ought to be in an active state. You understand? Every week. Make sure you ought to do it. Whatever, how much videos and thing you ought to do, make sure you get it done. Right? You pray, praying, you're fasting, you're reading, you're studying. Right? The little things that happen, you know, you, you stay true to the Lord and all that. These where you had to go through. You understand? And by you overcoming these things, you strengthening your faith. Let's say Joshua 1 verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Right? If you observe and do all that is, is written therein, from the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation, you observe every commandment, Every sin, you understand? And you do them in faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You understand? Wait, see. You will make your way prosperous. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That is what the kingdom is going to be like. You ain't going to have to ask for anything. Anna. You see how it is right now? Why? Because this is the battle, this is the trying of our faith. Of our strength. But in the kingdom. You are not going to have to ask for anything. Your faith ain't going to be tried. You understand? You ain't going to have to go out on the highways and the byways. And log in YouTube to make a, a, a video. You understand? Or you ain't going to have to write down on your calendar or whatever on your phone to remind you about the Sabbath or anything like that. You just going to know you're going to be perfect. You understand? I know your faith ain't going to try. It ain't going to have no fullness of adversity and baptism of fire. Right now is the baptism of fire. You understand? So now is the time to work. You understand? You'll make your way prosperous. You'll become a God. You'll be immortal. You understand? You wouldn't want, you wouldn't be in need of anything. You would have everything you need and want. You should have good success. You receive the crown of life and be named a son of Yahweh. You understand? 
But the sluggards now, they ain't gonna receive that. They're gonna be put to death on the side. Whether you had the truth for a time and fall out, or you never had it at all, or you knew it and didn't wanna um, follow it, follow the Lord. You, all of you are gonna get put to death the same way. Proverbs 21 25, it says, The desire of the sword will kill him, for his hands refuse to labor. <coughs> Right, so the desire of the slothful will kill him because his hands refuse to labor. So what I show you, laziness leads to death. Being a sluggard, with, um, it leads to death. Lukewarm leads to death. Fifty percent leads to death. You understand? You not giving the Lord your all as He commanded you leads to death. You can't be slothful right now. Was Yahweh shy slothful? Read the scriptures. You understand? You would see that the Lord wasn't slothful. He was always doing miracles and healing and preaching, teaching, giving parables. You understand? Praying. Fasting, you know. The Lord, He was occupying. You understand? In the name of his father. So now we occupy in the name of him. We understand. And die the order. Right? You can't be slothful right now. And you see, if you, as the scriptures say, when you shall say peace and safety, sudden destruction will, be fought, will come upon them. Because right now you're thinking hey, it's a cool scene, you know, you have time. You don't have time. Time is not of the essence right now. You think you are time. But you don't. You really don't. And the sun. Time is running out. That destruction is upon us. Look in the news. The media. The Look how what's going on in the world. But I be with this, this poison. And this um pandemic or what I be with all the nukes getting built and all the little rumors of wars and the sun look up in the sky see all the little eclipse and all the little signs in heaven the increased sightings in the chariots in the sun way increase you know to the point where they the military even come out and say that the, the, the sightings is real you understand? Look at the times. Time is running out. So you ought to get this thing good now. You ought to seek after it now. Because eventually the Lord is going to close them doors. He's going to close our sanctuary. Because the parable with the, the virgins and the, and, the, and the oil with the lambs. You understand? You can't get you can't look to get, your, get the oil when you have a shy done reach on the scene. Now is the time to get the oil. You understand? Now is not the time to be lazy. And there's nothing that should be able to separate you from the love of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. No no school, no work, no family. You understand? No activity, no nothing, no tiredness, sleepiness, no nothing, boy. There's nothing. No, as the scriptures say, you may get that in Romans. I think it was 8. Verse 35, Romans 8, 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? You understand? As it is written. Now, jump to verse 38. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord. 
But nothing, nothing could separate you from the Lord. And nothing should stop you from doing the works. No matter how tired or weak or sick. You do the will of your Hashem, you are shy. Because if you, do, if you have really had this faith and the understanding, you would know how much you are shy love the elect. You would know how much the Lord, how loves the elect, loves Israel. You understand? All the things that he did for Israel. To save us. You understand? So why are you being a sluggard? You don't want to repay. You don't want to try. Because you wouldn't be able to repay it. But you wouldn't want to try to at least repay your power for, for what he had done. You know? And how, how is it that we repay the Lord? By being obedient and being faithful servants. Be obedient and faithful to him and to his son. You understand? James 2 and 18. Yeah, a man said thou hast faith. Verse 17 said that. Even so faith, if it had not works, is dead. Being alone. Yeah, a man may say, thou hast faith and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works and I will show thee my faith by my works. You understand? Faith by works. Faith alone is dead. You understand? And the reason it did is because it have no way to it. Anybody could say, I have, I love you, Abba Shemi, Oshai, whoever. Anybody could say that. But could you prove it? Could you prove your faith? Yeah, Oshai prove his faith. He was put to death. He was put to death. In the wilderness, for the 40 days, he was tried. And he stayed loyal and faithful and obedient. Right? All his works. When he went to preach, that was works. You understand? When there was beating him and spitting on him, he didn't curse the Lord. You understand? All his works. So faith without works is dead, but faith, he said, I will show thee my faith by my works. So you would see if I is a faithful servant by the things that I do. Now know that I do them in faith of my power. You understand? Book of Revelation 2 and 5 and I'll close off here. It says, remember, therefore, for when thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. You understand? Re repent and do the first works. You know? So, you know, basically, continue to keep the faith in your Bashem Yahushai. Continue to bring forth works in faith, whether it be preaching, making videos, keeping the law, statutes and commandments, and all your adversities that has come with this truth. You understand? Continue to fight the good fight and lay hold on eternal life. You understand? Keep the law, statutes and commandments. And don't be a sluggard and don't be lazy. You understand? You know, say by tired from work and you know. It don't, nah, it don't have none of that. Right? Or you, you know, you have a sickness, you know, you feel like weak, you can't make no video. You understand? As if you have a shy, you know, to go through the greater things than you. Right? And the scripture saying, your hardness is a good soul, that you have a shy. So you can't be weak. You understand? He that enjoy it until the end shall be saved. You need strength. You need strength to endure to the end. A weak man can endure into the, until the end. You understand? If, if you faint in the um, day of adversity, that, that strength is small. So a weak man can endure until the end. It's only the, only the strong will survive. You understand? 
And with that, our blessings must be defined. Giving all praises and all glory unto the Most High. Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai Basham, Akakwa Dash, Sishalawam.